Welcome viewers. Today we are going to make a LiPo battery voltage and current by Ermet setup. For this we start off by taking two Dean's T type connectors, a male and a female, and we connect them together. We do this to make a pass through so the voltage by Ermet does not affect the rest of the operation. Male and female circuits, uh, male and female connectors are soldered together. Uh, make sure the soldering is done thoroughly. This is how the finished setup looks like. Uh, this uh, pass through can pass high current, so the soldering has to be uh, well done. Then we take two wires out to a Futaba type RC connector to which our rest of the circuit will be connected. We put an electrical tape to isolate the soldered junction from uh, any uh, short from outside. Let's check if the soldering is done properly. There's no short on this pass through connector and the uh, attached Futaba type RC connector. So we see there's no short between the positive and negative terminals. So they are independent. Now we want to check if our uh, test connector is properly connected to the battery terminals. Yep, one side is properly connected. Then you go to the next connector. also connected. So we've checked both things. There's no short between the two terminals and our test connector is connected to the battery terminals. For measuring battery voltage, we are using a voltage divider with a 10 to 1 ratio. We're using a 10K ohm resistor and a 1K ohm resistor. So it is directly connected to the LiPo battery being tested. Here now we want to check if our voltage divider circuit is properly connected. So here on the low side, we are mining a resistance of 0.96K, which is a nominal 1K resistor. And then we want to measure the total resistance between ground and the battery terminal, which is about 10.5K. So 10.5 over 0.96, will give us nominally about uh, a dividing ratio of 10. Uh, this is done because uh, while measuring battery voltages, uh, we can uh, measure uh, up to say around 30 voltage, which will give us uh, divided by 10 around 3 voltage. Uh, uh, and this is within the range of our ESP32 test setup. Remember ESP. Uh, 32 is a 3.3 volt microcontroller and we don't want to exceed the 3.3 voltage uh, limit. So by having this 1 to 10 uh, dividing ratio, we will stay within the range of ESP32 setup. Now we look at the current measurement. For this, we will use ACS758 Hall Effect Current Sensor. So we have made a similar arrangement. We have made a pass-through circuit. We've uh, used some heavy cables with a Dean's T-type connector. So the ACS758 sensor can be connected in series with a battery to measure the current. Again, make sure soldering is done properly as this circuit will pass high current. The sensor side of it uh, is independent and will be connected to Arduino based circuit and will give out a voltage proportional to the current. So now after assembling both of these, we are going to put together the voltage and current sensor uh, and attach it to our precious motor 
and uh, battery circuit for actual testing. So I'm going to attach the voltage sensor closer to the battery. I'm going to attach the uh, sensor cable, uh, which is going to be connected to the uh, Arduino. The ACS758 Hall sensor module has uh, two outputs. Uh, in my case, I've noticed that they produce the same result. So you can use any one of these. Also, one thing to notice is that the Hall sensor does not work uh, at 3.3 volt. Uh, I required uh, 5 volts uh, to give it for it to work. I'm connecting the voltage divider circuit to the voltage sensor. This will be connected directly to the battery. The, the Arduino circuit and battery will be connected. Uh, there is no isolation between them. So make sure the connections are uh, correctly oriented. So I'm connecting the ground of the battery sensor to the ground of Arduino circuit and the uh, sense uh, pin to uh, the Arduino ADC pin, which is uh, mentioned in the Arduino code. Work is getting a little bit messy, but it's a prototype. So as long as it doesn't break apart, I think it should be okay. One thing to remember, this is a pass through. So uh, placing it between the motor and the battery will uh, not have any effect. So you can change the order. You can put the voltage sensor after the current or you can put the uh, voltage sensor before the current sensor. So battery is connected uh, to its uh, XT32 Dean's connector. Now it just needs to be connected to the circuit to begin testing. So the circuit's connected and powered up. Uh, you can see I have uh, two OLED screens connected. Why is that? Just because I have them and I wanted to test uh, if I can connect more than one screen. I actually have three connected, but I couldn't get the third one to work. So now connecting the battery 